Welcome back to the Everdelight Summoner and it's glitching. Um, give me just a second. Okay, are we good now? Um, I'm going to say yes. Uh, there's one thing I want to look at first though. Jakar. How are your chains coming along? Hello? Not very well. Okay. Excellent. We shall control you. So, there was a th little thing I missed. Um, so, it's, a, it's as good an opportunity as we'll ever get to just uh, go straight back up and uh, take care of that. I have not... Uh, left the city yet so um, no area transition has been triggered meaning uh, any items uh, spawned uh, and all that lovely nonsense um, should still be there just in case they pull some uh, like shenanigans um, Um, let's see, do I have anything to talk about on the way up? Not really. No, it's been a slow day at work today. I, well, you know, people have been going on vacation. Uh, yeah, people sending in samples go on vacation, and patients go on vacation <laughs> and are not present for, well, taking samples. So, uh, yeah, spoiler alert, I work at uh, a, uh, a hospital lab. Um, well, I'm not going to go into any details, but it's kind of not really relevant. Ah, hello, there you go. We missed this. And what is this? A pair of battle boots. And what do battle boots do? Uh, Hmm. Well, just have to put my teacup down, fire up the inventory, and battle boots. Equitable by Joseph, 15 protection, double attack plus 2. Um, the recommendation uh, in the walkthrough was to get these boots on the way down and equip them. Oh, look. I match this outfit a little better now. Um, well, all they really do is uh, add the uh, double attack plus two. So now we get to go all the way down again. Um, so, yeah, about Octopath Traveler. I'm assuming that uh, if you're of the generation who've played this, you're, you're probably interested in Octopath Traveler 2. Um, which I was. I bought it. I have not really played it very much yet. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I have too many games to play. Uh, too many games that I am playing. And, uh, well, uh, let's just say that uh, Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne and uh, Shining Resonance are giving me a bit of grief at the moment. <laughs> Maybe I'll just uh, drop those and uh, play a game that's actually fun. You know? Get entertained? Ah, well. Anyway, I'm... With Shining Resonance, I kinda had to start playing Shining Force 2 again and Ah, wow. How far has the apple fallen from the tree? Um, I don't feel comfortable saying more, but I uh, do still insist that uh, Shining Resonance is better than I expected it to be.
I kind of did not expect to become Rosalind awesome there, but whatever. We're going straight back into Wulong, actually. Um, because now... Um, it's populated with uh, shops and um, stuff. Oh, let's see, there we go. Uh, anything else? Whoa, whoa, yeah, they... <laughs> as FAQs typically do, they listed all the items in the shops that we can get now, and <laughs> it is a hell of a list. Um, okay, lots of exclamation points. Fang Yin has a favor to ask of us, sure. Okay, evil spill it. Yeah, I'm playing China Force 2, deal with it. <laughs> uh, if, uh, well, if you don't catch that reference, um, at some point, uh, not not too far ahead from the point where I am at the moment, actually, um, we come to this place. We go to this guy who, well, has a little um, spirit guide, shall we say? It is named Evil Spirit. It has been Englishified, and it is freaking lovely. It is awesome, and then it blows up. So we're playing Summoner, by the way, in case I haven't noticed. Oh. Well, how fitting that we are going to that exact location. Oh. Well, um, just in case you're wondering, you cannot change this. This does not respond to uh, how... Well, it, it, this uh, side quest does not react to uh, how many of the uh, Jade Temple warriors you uh, don't get killed on the way down. So, this is uh, something else entirely. And uh, by the way, now we have the canonical pronunciation of Aoki, not Auchi. <sighs> it's just uh, volition. There's so much humor in most of your games, although you kind of had to look for it very hard <laughs> in Free Space 2 and original Free Space. But you had the chance to name a a general, Auchi, and you let this chance slide. Disappointment. Oh, are we advancing that side quest at this point already? Well, yes, I do. Um, <laughs> well, I need it for my prophecy. Well, I mean, otherwise I would have no problem to saying that. Okay, I understand. But, uh, yeah, we now have Durgan's earring. So, all that's left is actually getting back to Durgan and giving it to him. <laughs> uh -huh, yeah, about that. So, I know I said uh, um, that I would not have Rosalind wheel a bow at uh, the end 
at well, the final fight, uh, final boss of the game, but uh, she's been doing really well with the bow, so, well, I don't know. It's, um, it's currently in question, this uh, earlier resolve of mine. Okay, I can buy stuff from you guys. Oh, well, I'm um, kind of actually sorry to hear that. Oh. Well, just resign and say fuck you guys and live in a forest somewhere? Okay. So now we will find bits of uh, a statue at different places around Orenia. Okay? Sure. Uh huh. Uh, yes, yes, you're quite correct. Sabaton 13 protection. <laughs> Boo. protection. That is cool, but that is also what we have. Then protection. Joseph Jakar Fleece. 15 protection. Don't we already have that? I think we do. Okote. Huh. These might be surprisingly good. Uh, doesn't it say something here, though? Um, okay, um, yeah, that's a pattern's lucky charm. Got that. Okay, uh, let's see. Yeah, there are many words in this walkthrough. Many, many words. Steel gloves. I will buy one for fleece. Oh wow! I really don't have a lot of money. Well, I'm pretty sure I can sell these boots of stealth. Ten protection plus two sneak. Oh well, they're not bad. Only Jakarta can equip these, and he already has them. Melithos might. Um, no. Leather arm guards. No. Thelina's pantaloons. No. Kilted robe. No. Boiled leather. Not bad, but um, oh, well, we're up to nearly 1,000 anyway <laughs> already. Spring seal leather 30 to slash resist. I switch a car fleece. Oh, that one. That one's only for fleece. <laughs> Not terribly cool. Um. 
Okay, okay. Um. Right, I think. Uh, possibly I should say therefore I am. Did I buy one of these? No, I didn't. I will buy one of these. Just in case, I will buy one of these as well. Steel gauntlets. Should have bought these instead. Uh, one, two, three. Aramaki. Hmm. It's tempting to get the get that for fleece. But I think she has something better already. Scutum shield. Huh. Oh, Twenty protection. That doesn't boost dodge or parry though. And for just the two extra points of protection, I, I think the skill boosts are actually more valuable. Collar of health, plus 30 HP. Why? Hmm. Yeah. I think that's enough shopping from you. <laughs> I want to go somewhere and sell all these battle axes. Because carrying them around is just embarrassing. Oh, you already have steel gauntlets. Why did I buy a whole fuck ton of steel gauntlets then? That was stupid of me. <laughs> Could have warned me. <laughs> uh, whatever. Chainmail gauntlets. Um, spring seal gauntlet. This is a gloves. Uh, why? Why? Thieves gauntlets with ten protection. Or I could just give you these. Actually no. So I can be inconsistent sometimes. Um, I'm curious about this um, status. Well, uh, damage resistance. Uh, let's see, did we get anything else? Spring steel gloves, what's that? Okay, yeah. We don't need those anymore. You have a Shadow Haramaki that is 30 with extras, a total of 45. Actually, I'll take the take this. Uh, I don't know. Ten protection there and fifteen there. Good enough for government work. I'll just sell a bunch of stuff and we can go look for some other merchant. Chainmail gauntlets, sell spring steel gloves, sell steel gauntlets, we have all we need. 
Chainmail leggings, I'll keep those. I, I think they came from uh, Fleece anyway. She'll want her pair. Okay. Mm -hmm. Walkthrough directs me to this general area. Not, but not you, right? No, not you. But oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 I remember this. <laughs> That's damage. I wouldn't say that it's um, worth the price. Um, I don't think it's that much better than what uh, Jakar is currently equipped with anyway. But it looks really cool. <laughs> Priorities. Priorities. They exist. They are a thing. 60 damage there, 50 there. Nah. More club impaler and flanked mace. We keep Okasashi. No. We don't need any claymores. Um, Ever sharp katana. That's a lot, lot of money. Seventy damage, two hundred fifty-five. Um. Well, I'm still not up to the point where I can buy the full cleaver. Flying mace, we have one. Nagitana, that is the inferior one. Naginata. Oh yeah. 70 damage. That's not bad. That is not bad. So, what's the difference between these two again? Kind of hard to tell from appearance alone, isn't it? No Dutchy. No. Parrying dagger? Nah. Okay, well, I think we're good. Um, so I saw someone in here. Is uh, this one I'm looking for? There was no one here who wanted to speak to me. Okay. Good. Nice to have that cleared up. Ah, you are Nandi the Gatherer, I presume. Oh. Give it to me. Hmm. I think this is one of the side quests I uh, missed out on in my previous playthrough. So it will be nice to take care of this. Sparrow's egg. I will look for it. Um, southeast inside a fence, you say? Are we talking about this place here? Yes, I think you were. Hmm. 
Okay, so you just uh, cast light and identify equipment. Fair enough. That's uh, that uh, is useful. That must have been an experience. Yeah, just guilt strip us into getting your hat for you. Okay, uh, I just want to look at the car's thing. Okay, 85 damage. This is actually stronger, if a bit slower, than the folk cleaver. Holy F. Holy effing F. Okay, well, you know, I think that's actually a good point to. Oh, wait, no? No, actually, no. Um, I think we can find something first, then we can end the episode. Let's see. Uh, on the upper level, we can start on the quest right away. Search the lanterns at the cliffs east of the city uh, to get ahead. I dare you to make that dirty. Get ahead. So now we go back to the sculptor. Get a bit of experience. And then we can call it a day. Or an episode. Or both. Uh, actually, I kind of wanted to uh, well, I, I had kind of intended to uh, do this episode yesterday, but uh, as it so happened, um, I kind of discovered that I had uh, transcoded many, many episodes without the commentary track mixed in with the audio. Oops. So I went back and re-exported the files, the videos with the commentary track, transcoded them again, and the computer kind of, I mean, my gaming PC, kind of chewed on that for the entire day. Almost literally. So many videos, so much editing to do, and... Yeah. So that's why I didn't do this yesterday. Not that you noticed the difference. So, that's it for this, for this episode. I have said a lot more than I ever should have, but who cares? I can do what I want. Until next time.